make the fisherman's rib and I'm using the same needles that the yarn calls for so whatever the yarn says those needles use so I'm going to cast on an even number of stitches so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen is enough so the first row we have two setup rows the first row you only knit so knit the whole row this is very interesting it's very thick and uh, very nice for hats and sweaters and scarves they used it up a, a lot in the northern states New England and so here we are we already did the first row the second row is going to be knit one and see that little triangle uh, at the bottom of that bump there so that the, on the stitch below so knit that one on the stitch below and then purl the next and then knit on the stitch below right in there on where it's you see a triangle so right in there and purl and knit on the stitch below and purl and knit on the stitch below and purl knit on the stitch below purl knit on the stitch below purl and then knit the last one so I always have a knit at the beginning and a knit at the end so it gives me a nice edge so those are the two setup rows and then from now on what you want to do is knit the first one because you always do that and then knit on the stitch below I'm going to put the camera a little bit closer so you can see what it looks like there we go okay so I knit one and I knit on the stitch below right in there and then it's only knit you don't purl anymore it's only knit so you knit that one which is where you knitted the stitch below on the low the other row so you have those two uh, yarns there so those are the ones that you only knit and then knit on the stitch below and then only knit and knit on the stitch below so you're alternating so see those two there from the row before so this means you only knit there and then where you don't have those two you knit on the stitch below see that triangle so knit only and then knit the stitch below then knit and knit on the stitch below and then knit and the last one you knit always the first one and the last one you only knit and you repeat this row and it's only that one row and you you're going to you know it takes a little while until you start seeing what the stitch looks like so knit the stitch below because see this one doesn't have a double yarn so I'm going to knit on the stitch below 
this has a double yarn on the bump right there therefore you only knit and then where you have only one you knit on the stitch below and then I have two yarns on the bump that means you only knit and then where you have only one you knit on the stitch below so if you make a mistake here it's going to be very difficult for you to take off so please use a lifeline pass a needle and thread through your stitches following your needle on any row and I'll uh, put a link on what a lifeline is like so knit and knit so this is the way it's going to look and I'll take some pictures of this and it's a very pretty stitch, very thick. It's very similar to the brioche, and uh, but it's easier to make. So knit one. I only have one strand there, so knit that on the stitch below. I have two strands, so I knit. I have one strand, so I knit on the stitch below, and that's what it is. Knit, knit on the stitch below 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 knit, and then knit the last one and that's it and uh, I'll take some pictures and thank you very much for watching please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and uh, I'll see you soon.